Welcome back again, Rome lovers. It's Jami of Ready Set Rome, and today we have another one from my favorite distillery, Hamden Single Jamaican Overproof. Guys, before we get into it, like and share. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. Any questions, any conversation you want to start in the comments, you just jump in there. Shoot me a message, any questions you got as we go through this video. Shoot me. I like conversing with you guys. I like having a good conversation. I like, you know, telling and sharing whatever information I have on ROM. So, Hamden, as many of you may know already, one of my favorite distilleries in the world. Um, very, we'll get into why it's my favorite, right? This is pretty typical of Hamden, the packaging. This was the one of the two original bottles that they released back in 2018. However, they have released updated versions. Recently, this was just released, newly released, um, under the HLCF, which is one of the marks that they have there at Hamden. So, this is not the latest release that I have in my hands right now, so I want to get this out to you before this new release kind of gets more propagated then i'll get that one and i'll do a review of that one as well but hamden is always trying to innovate um i thought that this was batch two and the new one is batch three however there's so much conflicting information online like i've seen people done reviews which said that the bottle that they had was eight seven years old i've seen the conflicting reviews on the hamden website where it said eight year on the print and then it said this from was seven years so it's crazy like i don't know how to describe to you but hamden jamaican rum as much as there's you know some sort of mixed messaging going on online the bottle the box here says eight years old right so the box says fully matured in the tropics aging for eight years in the tropics climate produces an angel share equivalent to 25 year aging in continental weather right so for you those guys who don't know tropical aging and continental aging is vastly different i have two el dorado port moran um, releases and the difference in color between the two between an 11 year in continental aging and a 12 year in um, guyana is completely different one is almost like straw color like a light gold and the other one is is a dark um you know a dark amber woody kind of color so it's quite different in the aging process the coloration you get off the barrel all that kind of stuff it's just completely different uh continental to um, in the caribbean right so this is all tropical aging uh wild fermentation this is high ester art produced using the same unique and secret methods from 18th century resulting in a spirit with an unmistakable aromatic profile thanks its high levels of ester now i couldn't see anything online on how much esters this has on it which is quite you know it's interesting you know you definitely honestly with hamden you kind of taste the, what the marks are i have a bunch of hamdens i gotta go through guys the videos are coming you know just too many rums too little time all right but enough of that I really should have cracked this bottle before I went through all that spiel. So let me pop this open right now. All right. And this bottle is brought to you thanks to Rumption. Oh man, that's a weak pop. Let me do it again. Uh, still kind of weak. All right. Oh, I could smell it already. Wow, so. The nose on Hamden rums are very, very, they are fragrantful, you know, um, I, it's just, it's very high on the nose. I just pour it, I could smell it, some got on my hand, I could smell it, um, and in the glass, you can see right there, I guess uh, a bit of a amber a dull amber of some sort you stir it around get some get the legs going on that this is american 750 bottle 60 not 60 proof 60 percent alcohol 120 proof ester count unknown but 
we definitely when it comes to hamden rums typically you can taste the you could taste the esters they like like there's a level when you start off with say the 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 typical 40 what 46 percent um alcohol release that they had um the first release i found that the ester content that had to be very low it wasn't very flavor fla free flavorful or pungent um, then I just reviewed the younger Hamden the younger had 314 I believe esters um, You get that's when you start getting a lot more of that fragrance a lot more of those Hamden unique tasting notes That's when it starts really shouting at you um, They have other releases that are you know 200 and, and stuff and the 200 is okay 200 to me is more like the the opening, you know, that's the one that you start with um, if you're really accustomed to like, you know, monkeys and those things and when you're not getting into even like Appleton If you're not getting to Appleton, if you switch over to some of the lower marks, the 200 ester marks Then it's similar to, to Appleton, but you know, just a different profile But once you start getting to that 300 and up ester count, that's when you really get a unique, unique rum So I forgot about my glass, picking it up now I'm seeing the legs are just moving. So again, very good body, eight year rum here. Um, and again, so the box says it, the packaging says it, but I know I've seen online, I've even seen on, on Hamden's own website, seven, seven years old. I don't know what release that was. Um, this bottle, this box also says single Jamaican rum. I have seen some that say pure single Jamaican rum. So there's some packaging changes that happened over the years i'm not sure the packaging alone changed uh, multiple times but then the rum only changed twice this would have been the second batch or what was really taking place because they, they've done some little reconfigurations and as i said the newest one is a higher ester mark but i think it's a lower age so that's not really out and about as yet just seen a few pictures online so we're gonna get to that eventually all right, so that's enough on the legs. Not even the legs. Yeah, the legs they're barely moving, man. This thing is is thick. All right, let me get to the nose. Hmm. I don't know. The nose isn't like I was smelling it at first, but I let it, you know, waft off. Um, not really getting as much now after I let it sit for about five minutes. A little bit of heat, still some 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 sweet flavors there, but not that much. Hmm, orange, very hot. Honestly, it's hot. I, my eyes are tearing up. But a lot of orange smells now. Before, I was getting more of that fruity floral, bright floral nose that's typical of Hamden. But now I'm getting more, more orange zest, more orange peel. I'm getting a bit of cocoa. Maybe a little bit of coffee as well, but definitely very hot on the nose. All right, let's get into the tasting. Ooh, it's hot. It's hot. It's trying. Trying. Drying on my cheeks. Trying on the sides of my tongue, hot on the swallow, but sweet. I'm getting those Hamden notes, Hamden sweetness that I expected. I wasn't really getting a nose after it, it had chilled for a while. Um, definitely getting that sweet flavor. Um, that typical Hamden, but wow, it is hot. I gotta take smaller, smaller tastings on that first because wow chest is still warm so very good flavor so far um definitely taste at least at the 300 mark maybe high 300 i'm not sure because the heat kind of confused me a little bit there but definitely get some floral notes um let me try again one hamden that i don't really talk about is that there's some sort of 
slight curb with all the floral and stuff up front there's still a slight curb there in the back honestly after the first sip it's not that hot my body just adjusted it really really quickly um you might just take a too big of a gulp in the beginning there all right so what i'm gonna do add just a little tip of water on this one never want to overpower it or drown it that's a very little bit Let me add a little bit more never want to drown it out i want to add too much water but definitely adding at 60 proof and a little bit of water sometimes opens up you get different flavor profiles you know some people drink meat like this some people put a glass just put a, a big rock you know nice whiskey glass um, my wife just got me some of those little metal cubes that way you could chill your drink without actually diluting your drink but at 60% I don't mind a little dilution you know when I'm sipping I I want to enjoy for a long time not a short time you know so definitely I know some people they're like oh you know do you add ice to your drinks do you just always add ice to your drinks do you sip neat be honest with you like when i just started doing reviews um nine of the ten times i was sipping neat and that's just because i really wanted to train my palate really fast so every time i drank i drank neat sometimes on the other hand you just i'm in south florida it's 80 degrees now in the beginning of april on any day right like five or seven days in a week in fact yeah minimum five or seven days in a week um you would have 80 plus degrees in the day right so afternoon i'm chilling out in the backyard or something i want to have a drink definitely gonna have an ice in my cup right but in the nighttime you're inside sitting chilling watching a little tv trying to get me some tasty notes and stuff like that i'm definitely going to you know have it just like this in my plan karen all right but let's get back to it a little bit of water in there Swirling around for a little bit. Let's see what's going on now. Mm. There's a the Hamden nose starts standing up again, right? So in the beginning, when I first did it, the Hamden floral sweet smells was in the air, right? It sat for about a few minutes, and then I wasn't really getting the Hamden nose. I was getting more orange peel, orange zest just orangey citrusy notes when i add a bit of water let it rest for about two minutes i'm starting to get that hamden nose again some spiciness some black peppers or something there's also some some black pepper corns in there so spiciness floral sweet fruitiness and hamden fruitiness is just very much more of a light pineapple jackfruit some of those tropical fruits you get in in jamaica not the prunes and stuff like that. there's no prunes or anything like that none of those fruit cake kind of no notes that you get from you know some four square rums or something this is a unique nose that hamden has let's get to tasting mm. Mm. So, the wow, still hot, but definitely I got a velvety, smooth sweetness, vanilla, treacle, um, then that's some spiciness, a little bit of spiciness. It's getting a, a good bit of spiciness, but a little bit of chocolate, smooth milk chocolate notes on the back end. Man, I'm telling you. Rums like these are why Hamden's are my favorite. So, I've tried a, quite a few Hamden's so I could compare it to other Hamden's, right? Um, stolen, right? I always try to compare things to Stolen. This is better than Stolen, honestly, straight off the bat. Um, I was reviewing the Younger just the other day, went back and forth on that. I'm not sure where I fell on that. I think I said that the Younger was, was better, but it's really by a hair. Like the stolen and the younger, it's only six years, 
it's out of production it's a uh, what you call that it's one of those independent bottler stuff um six year pots it from jamaica um the younger was 200 something esters that was to me this tasted the the stolen tasted similar maybe a little bit higher um but somehow it was just hotter you know and it's hotter because that's 60 percent this so you know honestly this is pretty much a closer comparison than the younger one so maybe i should pour some of this as well all right let me pour some of that let that sit there for a while I don't know, maybe I just want to taste some more stolen tonight, but um, um, this I'll get this before I get the younger. The price is similar, so think about it. The younger is five years, and you get it for about sixty bucks. Uh, five years, forty-seven percent, sixty bucks. This is or oh, yeah, like sixty bucks. This is about say seventy bucks, right? 70 bucks each year um, overproof 60 proof so definitely I'll get this so and the new one is younger the new one I think is like four years so definitely if you get this one get it but the new one has a higher ester count which means more ham than flavors more pungency so that is definitely you know one of those things you should get as well all right Hmm. But I tell you, man, a few drops of water you see me added there. This thing got so smooth, like butter, <laughs> like butter, man. Um, before we get to must buy, must tries, and stuff like that, um, let me get to the stolen. Just see how it compares. Let it sit for a while. Similar nose, but seems a bit lighter. There's some, there's a different nose there. There's a slight. This one seems to be wanting to go a bit more, more into that that deep, you know, pruny fruits. Like you're getting the the, the hamlin fruits, but you're getting some other fruits on there too. Chocolate, chocolate. You're getting some some more chocolate on this one on the hamlin than the than the Hamden, <laughs> you're getting more on the stolen, getting more chocolate notes on the stolen than on the Hamden overproof. Single Jamaican rum, all right. Hmm. There's a funny varnish, more chemically note on the stolen than on the Hamden. Um, I need to add a little bit more water, a little bit more ham, more stolen. You know, some people always say that, you know, Jamie always come with these spur of the moment comparisons. You know, honestly, like, like for me, I like to know that if I'm buying one thing, it's better than the other. And some people even ask me, hey, Jamie, um what's your top five rum or what rum would you choose between this and this or like just today a guy was messaging me about the the smith and cross versus the rare nephew and i told him like it's two different rums right um just two different categories uh he's like oh what would you use as a sing signature drink on each one like honestly i don't know what i'm gonna use a signature drink i don't make that much drinks so i have like a signature drink for each one but i do want to just compare them straight off the bat and give him a detailed response um so that's the only reason why i haven't responded to him throughout the entire day because i want to actually go sit down pour me a little glass like this taste them both and really key in to what it is that I think is different about the two. Off the top, I know exactly what's different about the two. It's clear, right? One's just the the, um, the companies that produce them are different, and in Jamaica, once the company is different, it is vastly different straight off the bat, right? Um, I don't think there's any distilleries in Jamaica that are similar, right? The four major companies, their rums taste so far away from each other. It's crazy to me, right? Unlike most other countries. Um, most of the rums within that country, you know, taste similar, 
sometimes two of them taste like twins right so let me i just added some water to the stolen i don't think the water helped it hmm so weird i smell my own hand oh yeah that's a weird nose i just got here i just got some sort of vegetable like a funky vegetable like asparagus or something or olives more like olives i think hmm. Hmm. okay so with the water this also got a smoothness to it but then that funkiness kind of came back you know and get a good strong ham then flavor so honestly these two are pretty close um very very close still love the the, the stolen the stolen might go to i was just and if i could find this anyway i get them right um they sell like 20 to 23 bucks and they are just delicious stuff uh, this on the other hand 60 bucks full size bottle it's a half size bottle um it's good it's a must it is so my categories are must try must buy must have this is a must have um 60 bucks it is damn near perfect right um it was hot 60 percent blend of a bunch of esters within the um the hamden the hamden will hamden has several marks up to like 1400 esters so definitely high on the marks uh, but this definitely is a blend i'll say it's in the 300s 300 to 400 it was about that that not that that mark there and honestly on the tasting you could you know when you hit 300 i know this is past 300 um i would say it's close to 300 it's close to 400 um but you guys tell me out there i know there's a lot of people who watch my videos who know more than me so if you know that this thing is crazy high crazy low whatever and the lone Kena, he's a blogger online and he does a bunch of these reviews i know that he reviewed one of them i think he reviewed the first kind um and that's why i didn't bring up his review here uh, but he definitely had a review of this one right so show his reviews um, and that's why honestly I didn't really compare anyone because I really don't know the differences in each batch and you know if you bought in 2018 you got one thing but in 2020 you got one thing we're in 2022 I'm pretty sure this was recently bought and this is you know this is what it is but it is a very good Hamden rum 60 proof anything from Hamden they would give higher proofs uh this one here by independent bottler six years 61.5 proof um the lowest thing i think they have is like 46 proof which is their eight year bottle and everything else is higher it's 47 it's 55 the green houses you know all that kind of stuff but must try i'm going all over the place must try must buy must have this for me is a must have the price is great 70 bucks 60 proof 80 jamaican rum it's delicious must try must buy must have for me it's a must have um the changes in it just adding a little bit of water was just delicious it in the beginning is delicious the flavors are high the proof is high that's what i like about ham and rums man it's just it's never a miss right the i think some of them are must haves some of them are must tries i don't think anything is must try honestly i think some are must buys and some are must tries right you must at least buy a bottle which is a must buy and some of them you just must have it and for me i buy a ton of rums but definitely having this um is a great addition to my collection my friend um my friend Nia at my room diary she has a um could it be added to the treasure chest it's a treasure chest rum right here all right guys ready set rum taking you around the world one maybe two hamden rums at a time cheers